हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मडी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नाइटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट सिम्प टाइप ऑफ सिम्स व्हाट इज अ सिम बेसिकली सिम इज अ सिपोर्ट एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी मैनेजमेंट प्लान सो दे आर बेसिकली थ्री टाइप ऑफ सिम पार्ट वन पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट थ्री सो इन टूडे वीडियो विल सी वॉट आर द टाइप ऑफ सिम वेन the sim came what is the part 1 contain what is the part 2 and what is the part 3 in this video we will see why the sim was modified over a period of time and what thing were added over a period of time and what was the main reason for the sim to get modified okay so please tune till last i guarantee you will gain a lot and you will have a clear concept regarding the sim before starting the video friend i want to tell marine engineering hub is a platform in which you will get video which will be beneficial for your examination purpose and also for your ship related service so if you want to encourage us please do subscribe many of you watch the video but but no subscribe so please friend do subscribe the channel and encourage us friends marine engineering hub have started their membership and if you want to join you can join you can have a direct interaction with me and it will be beneficial for examination for quick learning and quick learning so friend let's start the today video of sim what is a sim so basically sim is divided in three part part 1 part 2 and part 3 the first sim came in seaport energy efficient management plan it came up in 2013 In 2013, sea boat management plan come with EDI. Along with the EDI, the sim was implemented. It was for the ship which are constructed before the EDI. It was applicable to all ship of 4,400 GT and above. So, in sim, it say sea boat energy efficiency management plan. It means that you have to efficiently manage the ship boat energy for that they have form a cycle planning implementation monitoring and evaluation first you have to plan means how you are going to plan first you have to plan that how you are going to save the energy of a ship after that you have to implement your plan after implementing the plan you have to monitor whether your plan is working or not and then you will evaluate that whatever you have planned is work out how much and based on that you will do the improvement so that you will again improvise the ship so if you take a closer look then you can see in planning what we do in planning first we see what is the current energy consumption means in planning first you will see what energy consumption is basically on board after that we will evaluate the way based on which we will implement an effective strategy but means what first we will in planning we will see what your current energy consumption after that based on that we will evaluate a way to reduce them and based on that we will implement a plan based on that what we will do now we will implement the plan and the plan will be implemented and responsibility will be given to the responsible stakeholder and rule will be provided to them based on that we will monitor in a quick session and we will see whether the plan efficiently efficiently working or not we will check the plan performance after checking the plan performance we will carry out the evaluation that what was our target whether we are hitting the target or not and if we need any improvement or not so based on that it is a continuous cycle so this sim part 1 basically talks about all ship which are of 4 gt and above need to have a sim on board after that comes sim 2 in 2019 in sim 2 is basically came up with the imo dcs imo dcs is applicable for all ship of 5000 gt and above so basically the imo dcs talks that on 1st march 2018 marpol and s6 amendment was done and the imo dcs was implemented so it will enter it entered into force on 1st jan 
2090 so before entering into force you need to update your sim why you need to update because you need to update your sim so that the sim should contain what method you are going to follow to monitor the fuel consumption data means how you are going to collect the fuel consumption data which method you are going to follow whether you are going to follow the fuel tank monitoring method or bunker bdn method or the flow meter method so that method will be described in the sim file and after that it need to be reviewed by the administration and you have to receive a coc conformance of compliance after receiving the conformance of compliance it will be approved then you have to monitor the data for a one calendar year that is 1st jan 2019 to 31st december 2019 after that you have to submit this calendar data before 31st march 2020 to the administration administration will verify the data and after successful verification they will need to issue a soc statement of compliance before 31st may 2020 after issuing your soc administration need to send this data to the imo before 30 june so this is a cycle for that reason for all that reason there was a update in the sim 2019 then come cii the cii also need an upgradation in sim and for that come sim part 3 which was applicable again for a ship which are of 5000 gt and above and engage in international voyage so the sim part 2 and part 3 are applicable for a ship which are 5000 gt and above and engage in international voyage so what the sim part 3 said so basically the sim part 3 is a implementation plan for achieving the require cii so the sim part 3 is a implementation plan for achieving cii which cii requires cii it is a 3 year cycle plan it means that in sim part 3 it is mentioned that how you are going to able to maintain the require cii for a next 3 year period of cycle so it should consist of all the method means which method you are need to follow so that you require cii value is maintained for a next 3 year so it is a procedure for self evaluation and improvement and if you are not able to follow the require cii then you have to submit corrective action plan so basically if anybody asks you what is the sim part 3 your answer should be like that the sim part 3 is a implementation plan for achieving the required cii it is a 3 year plan in which we mention the methodology and calculation is used so that based on that we are trying to provide the procedure for which we will able to maintain the required cii for next Three year. If we are not able to do in that case, we will provide a corrective action plan. So, as you know, the SIMP is also a dynamic plan. Why it is a dynamic plan? Because it is subjected to regular updates and revision. Okay. So normally the verification and company audit are done in a three year cycle. Okay. So if we see a annual cycle. if you see the annual cycle now this annual cycle will have a reference with this imo dcs one calendar year month collection of data then 31st march reporting to the administration 31st may administration will give you soc and administration will give data before 30 june to the imo the same thing is for the cii so how they entering the cycle so the cii will be applicable from 1st jan 2024 so before 1st january 2024 the cycle will start so what they are saying you have to carry out sorry 1st jan 2023 you have to carry out a initial verification which verification 
you have to do the verification that you have a plan based on which the required CII is going to be maintained for the next three years. After you have submitted the plan in the SIM, then that will get approved and you will get a COC. So before 1st January 2023, you need to submit the initial plan to the administration and get a COC confirmation of compliance. After that, now let's start see suppose the calendar year 1st January 2023 start and after that it end on a 31st December 2023. Now you monitor the fuel consumption along with that you monitor the CO2 emission. Now you need to submit this data of a fuel consumption along with the CO2 emission to the administration before 31st March after after that the administration need to verify before 31st May. So now before while verification if the administration see that for the next three year means continuously three year you are getting a rating of D or you are getting a rating of E based on your attend EI attend CII in that case what they will do they will tell you that you need to submit a revised SIM plan in which you will need to mention the corrective action which you are going to take corrective action plan which you are going to take to improve your CII rating it means that after the submission of the 31st March means from 1st January 2023 to 31st December 2023 you have monitor the emission and the annual fuel consumption then 31st March 2024 you have submitted after 31st March 2024 submission and before getting a SOC 31st May 2024 in between if they see that you have got a rating of E of attain CII or continuous you are getting a rating of D for three times in that case in between these two months you have to submit a revised sim creative action plan that is need to get approved and after that only you will get a soc based on your dcs data and attain cii rating then the administration will forward the data to the imo so this is how the whole thing work now the question come to our mind that why all this EXI CII simp is coming up so basically everything have come up for only one thing for addressing the climate change yeah, this climate change need to be addressed so that we can reduce the GHG emission the GHG emission is need to be cut down and because the IMO have made a target in 2030, 40 and 50 that by the earliest of this century they want to remove the GHG gas so that they are bringing all this EDI, DCS EXI, CII and my further thing in the near future. So anybody asks you why all these things is that because it is a part of IMO decarbonization strategy and this EXI and CII is a short term measure. Okay, so the next review will be done on 2026 and they will see whether this implementation of CII and EXI requirement how effective it is they will see and based on that they will take more stringent action so friend I hope in today video you have learned that why this all this regulation came up how this CII and SIMP is getting aligned one more thing I want to tell you that you should know that CII will be verified together with the DCS data once it comes into the force. After that, the SOC, the statement of compliance which will be issued that will need to be maintained on board for a period of 5 years. And if you are getting 3 consecutive D rating or 1 E rating, you need to submit updated corrective action plan. So I hope you know understand what is the SIM part 3, what is the SIM part 2, 
what is the sim part one if you still got any doubt please do comment below please do comment below i will reply back friends if you are watching the video now till now i know that you are interested and i guarantee you take the membership you will get more benefit from that so friend have a good day